Welcome everyone. My name is Juan Diego Nunez, right now the current CEO of this distinguished and prestigious company. I will be more than glad to talk to you about the history of this company throughout the years. So let us take a look. Odebrecht SA is a holding company for Constructora Norberto Odebrecht, the biggest engineering and contracting company in Latin America. It all started back in the year 1944 when Mr. Norberto Odebrecht, without any assets but his father's employees, became a construction contractor and started the company that became the origin of the Odebrecht Group. Under the philosophy of identifying, integrating, and developing young professionals with talent and disposition for entrepreneurship. By the year 1952, the company built its first hydroelectric power plant called the Corentship Hydroelectric Power Plant at the border between Bahia and Goyas. In 1959, the group started cultural contributions by supporting the publication of the book Homenagem a Bahia Antiga, Tribute to Old Bahia, by historian Jose Valladores. In 1979, the company goes international and starts to diversify its business by making contracts in Peru and Chile. By 1985, 30% of the company's projects were international contracts. In 1990, operations began in the United States and Odebrecht becomes the first Brazilian company to complete a public construction project in the US. The second generation began in 1998, when Norberto Odebrecht retires from business and concentrates his efforts as president of the Board of Trustees and the Odebrecht Foundation. Emilio Odebrecht, his son, takes over as chairman of the board of directors of Odebrecht SA. In 2001, Odebrecht becomes, according to the US magazine ENR, number one in the world in the international hydroelectric power plant construction. By the year 2002, Emilio Odebrecht passes the presidency of Odebrecht SA to Pedro Noves. In 2009, Pedro Noves transfers the presidency of Odebrecht SA to Marcelo Odebrecht, Emilio's son. Year 2010, the Odebrecht Group was named the world's best family-owned company by Switzerland's International Institute for Management Development. Hi everyone, my name is Shai Tang. I'm the president of Odebrecht. In Odebrecht, we have an ongoing commitment to satisfying our clients and generating values for our shareholders, developing the communities in which we do business, and finally helping our members to achieve their potential. Our vision in 2020 is, first, to unite thousands of our members of different nationalities and with different skills by the same business culture. Second, we want to build political strategic relationships based on trust with the society. Third, we want to become our clients' top choice by offering them integrated and innovative solutions to the world's most depressing challenges. Fourth, we want to become one of the top 50 most admired organizations a leader in the business or countries in which we operate and a reference in the creation of value and sustainable development for clients, shareholders, members and society. Hi, I'm Sachi Dabra, the CFO of Odebrecht. Although the current allegations about the involvement of a CEO in the Petrobus oil scandal has directed a lot of unwanted attention, I wanted to assure you that we are still strong and looking forward to a profitable year. Over the past five years, from 2009 to 2013, we have only managed to increase our gross revenue every year, from $24.32 million to $41.38 million, and we continue to do so. A high EBITDA of $4.87 million depicts the high operating profitability of the company. Despite recent speculations about the financial liquidity and Moody's degrading our credit rating to BAA3, the company is committed towards working on current projects and future projects planned in Africa and Latin America. The company has always maintained a high cash cushion, low leverage, and a strong track record. And that, we believe, will be enough to stabilize our credit rating and help us come out of this crisis stronger than ever. I'm an intern of Odebrecht, and it is an honor for intern to stand here to introduce our company. As an intern, I enjoy so much working here because we have friendly work environment and everyone gets treated equally, even interns like me. Not only that, our strengths are high profitability and revenue, diversified geographical presence, skilled workforce, reduced labor costs, etc. For opportunity, we have growing economy and demand, positive outlook of infrastructure construction industry in Brazil, 
increasing demand for infrastructure development in the United States. As the Chief Risk Officer, it's my responsibility to identify and work on the weaknesses and potential threats to our company in order to achieve our future goals and taking the company forward. Some recent delays in project completion, like in the case of Miami City Airport, corruption and money laundering cases against our ex-CEO, reduced productivity have been some of our company's weaknesses that might lead to the downfall in our company's market reputation. Recent hike in the interest in exchange rates, prices of raw materials, and increasing competition in the industry are some of the threats that we have identified that can affect our business. We aim towards strategizing our action plans in such a way that we can overcome these weaknesses and achieve our short and long-term goals successfully. Hi, I am Isha, Chief Architect of Odebrecht. Odebrecht has enjoyed a couple of bumper years in the run-up to recent year's FIFA World Cup, with the company being responsible for delivering the upgrade of iconic Marcana Stadium. It has also been busy with major infrastructure projects ahead of the Games, including the commuter trains in Rio de Janeiro, a new metro system in Sao Paulo, and Corinthian Arena. The company's stronghold in USA, where it has held a presence in the form of projects like Miami International Airport, Port of Miami, etc. Odebrecht is also looking to push further afield to grow its worldwide presence, which has involved more than 1,700 company employees working on projects overseas, including in UAE, where it has delivered pumping station work worth $572 million. We have many projects like Bela's business for building Angola, Vasco de Gama Bridge in Portugal. We are working on Venezuela's Tacoma project in Latin America. Well, I'm Kai. I'm the chief operating officer of Artbridge Group. Our group made 26 billion Brazilian real investment in non-construction and petrochemical business in recent years. In 2014, the business grew by 32% in revenue of our group. Currently, the priority of our group is maintaining robust levels of liquidity focused on carrying out contracts awarded in the past few years, such as the s Petrochemical Complex in Mexico and the Chagra Hydro Power Plant in Peru. Here are a couple of things we want to do in long term. First, we want to diversify our business activities with decentralized company structure, yet keeping the synergy between different sections. We want to keep our safe record as the longest to work without lost time accident. We also want to keep our devotion to balance economic development and environmental protection. And the last thing we want to do is to strengthen our global social relationships to improve communities' qualities of life and to promote human and cultural diversity. Hi everyone, I'm Chao Fu Wei, Chief Information Officer of Alderbridge. According to company reputation ranking conducted by Merco, Alderbridge ranked 25th in overall ranking and 2nd in construction sector in Brazil 2014. In Peru 2014, we ranked 16th in overall ranking and 2nd in construction sector. In 2015, after the bribe scandal, our ranking dropped, dropped by 36 to 52nd in overall ranking, and sector ranking dropped by two slots. However, in Argentina 2015, we made ourselves into the list for the first time and ranked first in construction sector in all. Although the bribe scandal in Brazil may have some influences on our reputation, we still hold a strong reputation in Latin America, and the company functions as usual. Hi, I'm Lisa, the Innovation Executive of Autobridge. Innovation requires vision and courage, but also needs implementation. Here I'm going to talk about the company's current action items. So you can see when we talk about innovation, we really take it serious. First, we plan to launch our research and development unit in one year to start the transformation towards beam-based integrated design and construction. At the same time, we will deploy link construction teams in all our projects to fully responsible for the process improvement and knowledge management. At the same time, we will also plan to participate in at least 10 IPD projects in the next three years to hone our skills in BIM-based workflows. And the related learning program will be launched in the next month involving all our employees of all levels in Odebridge.